What's going on guys, welcome back to another Mecha Musume review taking a look at the third wave of 30 Minute Sisters kits from Bandai focused around the Lulus or the Ruruche as it is in Japanese. Looks to be like another great entry and we've got a ton of option parts to look at for her in today's episode so let's get right into it. So alright guys, we got a lot of stuff to take a look at here in today's episode. So we're just going to start off by unboxing everything, taking a look at what's included with all these different sets. We got the main Lulu's kit, we got option parts for her, we got option hair parts, option body parts, and more. So starting off taking a look at the main kit itself, we got some beautiful box art here in the same style that we've seen as the first two releases. She's in color C as they're going with this one, the first one being color A and then color B. On the side of the box there, you can see this is number three in the line and there's a close up on her face. And on the bottom of the box, speaking of face, there's the different face option parts that you have included with this kit. And those are gonna be pre-painted, which is very nice. So you don't have to worry about stickers for the eyes and everything. There's just a look at some of the features of the kit, the posability, some of the option armor and option pieces that we have included with this. The animal mode for this seems to be in the style of a squirrel, which is very cool. So you got little ears and the tail out the back. And of course, it's highly customizable with different parts and hair parts and weapons, armor, different, all kinds of different parts from 30 Minutes Sisters, as well as 30 Minutes Missions. And on the other side here, we've got to look at how you can customize this mixing with parts with the Spinatia 30 Minutes Missions kit. So that's looking very cool. Popping open the box, and it's not a big box, so as you can see there's not going to be a ton of stuff in here, just a couple of runners. There's all the white armor pieces and our skin tone parts and all that. The front of the manual featuring some credits there, which is cool to see, then putting that on the artwork there for the manual. Down here, just some different images showing how you can customize the character, and then just some posability options there for that. On the back side of the manual here is once again just showing about how you can customize the kit by mixing with 30 minutes missions parts or just mixing and matching between the 30 minutes sisters kits. On the inside of the manual here we got our parts list and this next section is kind of neat. It's got the Chibi Lulu's character up there at the top and it's showing the breakdown of the parts on the runners separated by sections. So like for the body, the head and the arms and the legs, they're all broken up into sections there, one, two, three, and four. The rest of the construction then just goes through the sections, putting everything together. So you got the first couple pages here in color and then the rest of it's just in black and white on the inside. Getting into the runners here, we've got FPA or Face Parts A for obviously our first pre-printed face part. There's going to be number one, number two right here. It's going to be a little bit different. Number three for our angry face with open mouth. And then we've got FPA4, which is going to be parts for the neck and the ears, kind of the inside parts of the head. Runner HPD1 is going to be hair parts in dark brown. HPD7 as well there, as you can see, for the bangs. And then HPD8 for the ponytail for the back of the head. Runner A here is in four colors. You got your skin tone, light gray, white, and then that light tan color there. Then runner B is some more pieces here in white for mostly joints and things like that. Your hand parts are on there as well. And then runner C is gonna be some more parts here in tan. Runner D is a few more pieces here in white for the arms and legs. And that's gonna be it for the main kit. So let's go ahead and move on to the option parts. First off, we got option parts set three, mechanical unit. And this one does seem to be specifically kind of tailored for the Lulus here, but of course you can use it with any of the different sets. Basically gives you like a set of armor claws for the arms and then also for the legs as well. It's gonna be kind of the main thing of this set. And it's a pretty small box, but here on the side, you can see how that is going to look on the kit and then also in use on the couple other different kits and the line, the Rochetta and the Tiasha kits. And that's all there really is to see on the outside of the box. So we'll pop it open and here on the inside you can see we just got a couple of runners there, black and white for the color of those runners. On the instruction manual here, we've got color on the front, black and white on the back. That's just going over the construction. Our runners are gonna be OP3A and OP3B. Option part 3A is gonna be in black here as you can see. We've got two of these. And then option parts 3B is going to be our white parts for the set. Next up, our option body parts is type G02, which is the smaller body size, color C, which is the skin tone that is going to match with the kit here with the Lulus. So even though it's got the Rochetta's head there on the front, as you can see there in the background, it does have the Lulus kit featured there. 
around here on the back is going to show you what the body is going to look like all built up on the kit and then again using some option parts from an option weapon set and just obviously focusing on ways to show you how you can customize the kit further. These bags are kind of nice but honestly I would just prefer if they just kept everything in boxes, I don't know, but this is just a really simple set of just a few runners like what we, like what we saw with the option armor set. The instructions are just printed here on the back, so just real simple how you put the body together. That's about it. Runner A going to be in three colors here. We've got our skin tone parts, the dark blue and that very bright fluorescent yellow color. Runner B going to be a few more internal joint parts there, mostly in that dark blue color. And we're going to see some more parts in that bright fluorescent yellow. Next up, our hairstyle parts, volume three, all four types. So in this box, this is again, just like a shop display box is how these come if you buy the box of all four. This is gonna come with long hair one, black, long hair two, red, two, pigtail three, purple, ponytail hair three, yellow. We'll just pop this open and take a look at these. As you can see, they're just packaged in separate boxes. Here's how they're gonna look. This would be our long hair type one, color black one so they're very specific about the different colors and types of everything on the side of the box there you can see how that's gonna change the look of the rochetta from her normal hair to changing to the black hair it looks very different on the other side of the box is the lineup showing what other different hair types are available in this set in volume three so you can get a look at all of those We'll go ahead and pop this open and on the inside obviously not going to be a whole lot of parts in there it's really only just a couple little runners and even the instructions are just printed on the inside of the box there so if you really want a good look at those you kind of have to rip your box open but you really kind of don't need them in here we're going to have hpe1 hpe4 and hpe5 for all of our parts for this first set Taking a look at the next one is the long hair type 2 in red 2 color Everything on the outside of the box basically being the same other than just the front, so we can go ahead and take a look at the runners. Here we've got HPE1 as well as HPE2 and HPE3 in this really nice reddish color. Next up we've got Pigtails Type 3 color purple. We've got runner HPB5, HPB6 for these parts. And lastly in yellow Type 2 color we've got Ponytail Hair Type 3. And the runner for this set consisting of HP D1, HP D7, and HP D8 here for those. And finally, one last option part set that I want to take a look at in this video is also the hand part set here. Now this is the first hand part set out that's in black and white. So this is going to give you some much needed options as far as your hands. So you got some nice expressions that you can do with those. Peace signs, pointing, open resting hands, open expressive hands. Also included in this set is some new optional parts for the neck. Now this is going to be in skin color A, which that's going to match your Rochetta kit. But that'll give you some new mobility options there with the neck, which is nice. Around here on the back of the packaging showing off the different hand options and again the mobility of the neck there as a feature shown in these sample photographs of the three different kits. Popping this open once again it's just going to be a couple little runners in there and the instructions are just going to be printed on the back side of that just there in black and white. It's as it is just basically hand parts and neck parts. It's going to be pretty simple of course. Here we've got HA 1, 2, 3, and 4 or hand parts 1, 2, 3, and 4 so you got left right versions of those in both white and in black and then we've got fpc4 and we've got two of these these are going to be optional neck parts all right guys so here is the main body all put together and we'll take a look at the armaments before we get into just some other different option sets and stuff we're going to be looking at in this episode but overall another really great build if you guys have seen my reviews on the first two sets from this line then you know that the simplicity is really what makes these kits great because they're very simple they really don't have a lot of parts but they're really solid kits you can just play around with them and pose them and everything super easily and you don't have to worry about anything coming apart or falling off or anything like that so as you would expect from a bandai kit you know it's very durable so for some of our option parts, we've got these rings, which will attach here in the arm. You'll, you'll swap those out. And for this specific kit, we've got these armor pieces, which go up here on the shoulder. So that just plugs right into here like so. Swap out this ring here on the arm for this one. Pop the arm back on. And now you have these shoulder armor pieces there on there like that. Then we also have a set of optional armor attachment pieces here, which go on the wrist. So for this one, you just pop the wrist off slide this part on and that's on there like that and now of course these armor pieces which are meant for the shoulder you can definitely attach just these onto the wrist as well if you wanted to because it's all the same size attachment points so you only get two of those so like if you wanted to have one two three four you would need two of these sets but of course you can 
switch that around and have it just as like a little mini shield kind of there on the forearm, something like that. You could definitely do that. But with this one, we do actually have a shield piece, which we'll just plug onto there. And again, I'm plugging this onto the center. You could plug it into any one of those three points on there. But there's our simple shield like that. And then we do have another set of attachment pieces here, which will replace these rings right there on the leg. Now with this kit, we don't have anything necessarily included that you're meant to plug onto here. But again, these armor pieces that you have can really be plugged onto just about anywhere. You could even rotate that to be like on the front of the thigh, something like that. Now, speaking of here on the front of the thigh, if you remove this little cap right here, we have another hard point right there where you could plug in anything. And then right here on the front of the shin as well, if you remove this little cap, we have another hard point there. So those are places where you can plug additional armor pieces or whatever kind of accessories you want to plug onto there. Also here on the lower back and upper back are some more hard points there built into the kit. And our other accessories are going to include this backpack piece here, which you can use basically in kind of any way that you want, but that just plugs there onto the back or onto the lower back or wherever. And then you can uh, plug different 30 minutes missions parts onto there or other different option parts or again, whatever you might want to dream of that you want to attach onto the back there. And then we've also got her a little squirrel tail kind of thing, which plugs here onto the back. And then that's on a little ball joint. So you can adjust the angle of that any way that you want. And again, this is the kind of thing that if you had two of these, you could plug another one up onto there. You could plug one into another and make like an even longer tail or something. Or again, you're you're only limited by your creativity with these. And last couple things are gonna be some hand options. So instead of the closed fist, you've got these holding hands. You've got this optional attachment piece, which is for if you wanted to plug the 30 minutes sister head onto a 30 minutes missions uh, robot kit, then you use this adapter piece here for that. Our option faces here, again, is gonna include just the kind of standard face, this shouting face, and then also this just kind of smiling, looking off to the side face like that. Now, if we remove this part of the hair, and remove this tiny little piece here at the top of the head, that will allow us to plug on our last accessory, which is going to be this little set of ears for, and again, I'm thinking squirrel. Between the ears and the tail, here's how it's gonna look, kind of squirrelish, right? I think that's what they're going for. As we take a look at a few different poses with this, just to show you guys a little bit of the articulation and just some options that you can do with what you have just in the main kit. While there are holding hands included with the kit, there isn't anything that comes with the kit that you can hold in the hand. So those are just meant for if you have something from a different kit or if you're gonna be doing some mixing and matching kit bashing or whatever, then you can use those holding hands. But but again, overall, really nice kit. The pre-painting on the faces is really nice on these. The face options for them, as far as just like the expressions go, this one, uh, the face options are okay. And nice definitely making improvements with their face options for these type of kits, especially in the 30 Minute Sisters line. And again, I'll say, like I've said in the first couple reviews from this line is that uh, I'm really quite impressed with them and I really do like these kits more than I was expecting to. After building a couple of the figureized standard female kits, I just really don't like those. So if you're like me and you've tried those and you really don't like them and so you're hesitant to try a 30 Minute Sister line, I'll just give, let tell you guys just to try the 30 Minute Sisters line because it's so much nicer. I Thing is so much better than the figure eyes standard uh, female kits. They're just not really any comparison between the two of them. These are so much better and so much more fun to play around with. And on that note, why don't we then just go ahead and move on to the option set here for the Lulus. So here is the option in parts set three mechanical unit, which is kind of specifically for the Lulus, but not necessarily. I mean, of course you can use it with whatever, but uh, for the purposes of today's video, that's what we're gonna be using this on. Very cool set, just molded here in black and white. That said, taking a look at the box art, you can see it looks like a little bit more off-white, whereas the actual part is just very pure white. Well, that's disappointing. It does match the white color of the Lulu's kit itself, so I guess that makes sense. So, Basically, this consists of two separate sections, an arm section, which has some articulation in it, and that this part, hand part can move like that, and then this inner part, those finger kind of bits can move like that. So you have some pretty interesting articulation there, and then you have an elbow joint right up here so that'll just plug right onto the arm basically we're just gonna pop the arm off below that tan colored ring and then just pop that on in its case now i do find the arm to be the upper arm to be looking kind of quite long so i think you should be able to put this on there without the ring part on there like that and it's gonna be you know slightly shorter it's like two millimeters or less shorter but it's a little bit shorter anyway you can do that if you want 
And then we've got the leg section with this back part that will move up and down. And there's a knee joint here with separation of that white armor there on the front. Down here at the ankle, it is on a ball jump, but you don't really have much side to side that you can get out of that. You have a little, a little bit of a forward and back movement that you can do here. But the articulation of the ankle is going to be kind of limited, it seems like. It's just kind of weird on the ball joint there. I guess you can move it like that, but that feels like it's about to, yeah, it's about to fall off there. Anyway, with this as well, just a matter of popping that uh, leg off below the tan colored ring and then just popping the leg on there in its place. It's as easy as that. So with this set, I have to say I really love the design of it. I think it looks really cool. It does make the proportions a bit weird. Like I said, it makes the arms like super long. So I think like uh, when it comes down to it, I would probably want to make some adjustments to some of the proportions, maybe a little bit of modification or something, or maybe not necessarily use these parts as they're intended to be used, but maybe sort of customize them a bit. But I think in general, what you have there to work with is some really great looking option parts here for the kits. And if you intend to use them as they're meant to be, or if you want to use them for customizing, there's some great options there for you. And the really great thing, of course, with these option sets is that they're very cheap. So you can pick up multiples of them for making, you know, giving you even more customizability options with these. So that's really fun. But let's say you like the armor or you like the character head, but maybe you want a little bit different body style. Well, that's where the option body parts come in. So next we'll take a look at the Type 02 Color C. Now just a little explanation of what the type and color indicates. So the color indicates skin color. So like with your face parts, if you wanted to use this head on this body, the skin color would you'd want them to match, obviously, unless you're going to paint the kit, or then it's going to look a little bit strange having them mixed different mixed colors. Previous couple body part sets would be in different colors, colors A and color B, so it's just a way for you to make sure that your skin colors are going to match with the face parts that you want to use with the kit. And the type G02 in this case is just letting you know like which uh, body type. It's also kind of the size. The sizes of them, as we've seen in the previous reviews, are slightly different as well. The one, the 01 was a little bit larger, the 02 was a little bit smaller. This one, I guess, is kind of in between. I don't have the 01 and 02 on hand to be able to compare. I'll do that in a future video. Once I have those parts, I can compare them for you guys. But aside from the main body, this comes with the same accessories that you get with the base kit. So you have this backpack adapter piece, this adapter piece for plugging a head onto a 30 minutes missions kit. You have these adapter pieces here for the shoulder, the thigh, and and for the wrist for attaching on different armor weapons and pieces like that. We also have pieces for the bottom of the feet. So like for example, if you are using these legs and then you're getting rid of the other tan parts by sw swapping out the body here like this, for example, so then you'd have all your accents being in this bright yellow and then having the tan colored feet that doesn't match. So we have tan or bright yellow colored feet parts there at the bottom. And this one is not really an accessory, just a part that's just kind of free floating, doesn't really attach onto there. That This piece is just held on by just having the neck in place. So once we swap out the head and the neck, this piece will be held onto there. Now with these parts too, once again, it's just a really great set, just to give you some more options. Not only does it give you the armor in now in a different design, or just the body, the main body in a different design, but it also gives you color options as well, so you can mix and match the colors. If you're not gonna be painting, it's nice to have that option where you can just mix and match and use different colors for different things. You can even just use like, just those bright fluorescent yellow color ring parts on like just the upper arms and the thighs, then use like a different color body type and different color legs, and you can mix and match between all the different kits. So again, that's kind of the whole thing with this line is that it's all meant to be really easily customizable and it's just another set that gives you just even more options and a really great looking set I think. It's a really nice looking uh, set of armor for the body there. And I guess I use armor in kind of an air quotes a little bit because there's not a whole lot of armor on there. But if you still want more options, of course, everything is customizable and that is going to include our hair. So here's all our hair parts from the hairstyle parts set volume three and we'll take a look at these on the kits here. The hair parts are pretty easy to swap out. It's basically just uh, about disassembling kind of the head as much as you need just to get the head part uh, apart. You're left with this inside part of the head which is designed in a way that makes it very versatile for attaching the different hairstyles onto there. So like I said, it's pretty simple to do. Like for this set, you just pop that onto there. You got these side bits which will go onto here as well. Pop your face onto there and then the bangs parts and then that little part which fits on there onto the top if you're not going to be using one of like the little ear parts which fit on the top of the head or something for example so pretty simple 
And this particular set of hair parts is really nice just because it has some more kind of like realistic colors compared to some past sets that are like uh, blue, green, pink, and all that. But this one having the black, the kind of brownish orange kind of color, and the kind of blonde kind of beige kind of color. Uh, if you wanted some more hairstyle options that again are kind of just molded in a little bit more realistic hair color options, then you got that with this set, which is nice. But again, obviously painting is gonna completely eradicate that issue whatsoever, but definitely some nice options included with this set. That's gonna go ahead and bring us to our last object that we're gonna take a look at here today, which is the hand parts. This set is the white and black set. So now not only do we have some very welcome hand options like peace sign, pointing fingers, open expressive hands, and just some open resting hands, which are really nice options to have. We've also got our new options for the neck pieces. Now the skin tone color, not gonna match for the Lulus here, but I'll still demonstrate here on the kit for you guys. And we have two sets of each of these. So there's one style of neck that has the ball joint on each end and then a side-to-side -side bend in the neck, which is the exact same joint that we have in the neck here for the Lulus at the moment already. But the other style neck joint here is one that has a forward and back bend to it. So this will be for giving you a more of a, to bend the head even like farther back if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and try this out. So let's say you have your kit here like that and you wanted to do like a flying pose for example something like she was really flying through the air or just doing whatever kind of pose I don't know whatever you might want to do where you have the neck the head really far bent back like that you can now do that with this neck joint for example but like I said guys the hand options are great and that's definitely the main highlight of this option part set just because as Bandai has been basically playing catch up to Kotobukiya with this line trying to compete with the frame arms girls and Megami device type lines from Kotobukiya uh, you know, they're getting better at their faces, they're getting better at the body designs, but you know, they've still kind of been behind just in terms of the hand options that are included with the kits, with the three main kits only including closed fists and open hands, whereas pretty much any Frame Arms Girl Megami device type kit from Kotobukiya includes lots of hand options. Still, unfortunately, they're not just packaged right with the kit and that it's a separate thing you have to buy, but that's kind of the main thing with this 30 Minute Sisters line, it's just kind of everything's available, it's just available all separately. But the nice thing about that is you can buy a specific specifically only what you want, but the kind of the downside of that is that you have to buy a lot of separate things. So I don't know, it's kind of a give and take, I guess. But at the very least, it does provide you with a lot of great options, as we've seen with this third wave of stuff out in the line. There's a lot of really great stuff to enjoy, and I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing some more of this stuff uh, for you guys in the future. But let me know what's been some of your favorite parts uh, from this wave of 30 My Sisters releases. There's a lot of great option parts to choose from, and then again, mix and matched with the uh, stuff from the first and second wave, and the upcoming fourth wave of more stuff coming out. There's definitely plenty of opportunity to have a lot of fun with this line, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Of course, if you want to check out some of this stuff, you can check out the link to USA Gundam store down in the video description, as well as my coupon code there that you guys can use on all this stuff or anything on the site. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to like the video, comment, subscribe, all that's greatly appreciated as well. Until next time, guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.